Good morning, everyone. Currently, we are in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. First time ever that we visit Cape Cod, Massachusetts. So if you want to know what you can do in just one day, because we're only here really one day, then continue watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that we can push these videos out to the YouTube algorithm and everyone can enjoy this amazing content. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so we are in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We got in last night. Um, we're from New Jersey, as you guys know already. So it took us about five hours to get here driving. It was gonna take about four, four hours, 20 minutes, but we ran into a good 35, 40 minute traffic. That made things longer. I also missed a couple of exits, but you know, the GPS is, does really well with rerouting. So we're here. I've heard of this place. I've seen many people wear uh, Cape Cod shirts when I've visited other areas in the country. And I always wondered, Cape Cod, Cape Cod, what is Cape Cod? I learned about Cape Cod in history class in elementary school. I mean, you know, the Cape Cod, it's kind of like this peninsula that comes out, it curves. Um, so on the map, that's how it looks like. I'll show you guys a picture of that right here so that way you guys know what I'm talking about. And what do you do in Cape Cod? It's really a beach destination. People come here for the beaches. Um, coming from back from the Caribbean, we were just in the Caribbean a couple of days ago. I don't think I'll be getting into the water. I know that it's gets really cold up here in Massachusetts. Colder than New Jersey. In New Jersey gets cold, but over here it's colder. You get that Canadian breeze in here and um, I don't know if I'll be touching the waters, but we will be checking out the beaches. We'll check it out. We'll see what we can do here. There's a couple of things, a couple of historic things to do here. So right now, breakfast, okay? We were super hungry last night. She was freaking out. By the way, it's our anniversary, 30 year anniversary. Oh yeah, baby. And uh, we're celebrating it here. Yeah, we just were in the Caribbean. So technically that's part of our celebration, but you know, I'm really big on dates, and um, today is the actual three-year anniversary of our marriage. So uh, we came here, and um, you know, to my surprise, last night there's just nothing open. No, after, and then, and then after one a.m. After one a.m., yeah, there's nothing say. open. There's nothing open. And we just made it to one a.m. We we got here. It was like 15 minutes before one. We checked in, and then that's it. There was no food, so we kind of went. To sleep hungry, she got. Um, I got myself a noodle bowl. Yeah, noodle bowls from uh, from the hotel we're staying in. Where are we staying in? Holiday. Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn. It was just a little pricey, honestly, for what it is. And um, and I ate some chips. But we're gonna check out Celtic Kitchen, Celtic Kitchen or Celtic Kitchen, but Celtic Kitchen. Okay, that's how. Us Americans would say it. Celtic Kitchen. It's rated one of the best uh, places to eat breakfast or brunch. So we're gonna check it out and see what it's about. Let's go. So we see a lot of good things on the menu. It's uh, all about seafood here. Well, not everything seafood, but I see seafood menu brings lobster, shrimp, scallops. Clams, peppers, onions, English muffin with two poached eggs. I think I'm going for that one. I think I might get the same thing. Same thing? <laughs> yeah. All right, we both got the same thing. Let's see, let's see how this is. Mm. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, that was some excellent food here. I really recommend this place. You gotta come here to Celtic or Celtic Kitchen. Now we are gonna go to Kennedy's Compound. This is a historic house because that's where the Kennedys used to vacation. John F. Kennedy, Robert Kennedy, and uh, 
all the Kennedy family. So we're gonna go check out that house here in Cape Cod. All right, guys, so we try to go into the Kennedy compound. We're not allowed to, it's a private property. Although I don't see any security there or anything, but you know, out of respect, we're not gonna go in with the car, but it's right here. That's the house. So that is JFK's house right there. Big backyard with a picket fence. And that's this is the whole Kennedy compound right here. See, it says do not go in there. But beautiful. It says this is the service entrance. Uh, those for Secret Service, probably. So pretty interesting. They have a big picket fence. Yeah, the fence is uh, pretty big, put up so that way you don't see anything. For the area, the area is absolutely beautiful. It's really nice. All right, folks, we just arrived at our second location, uh, the Heritage Museum and Gardens. Uh, from the pictures, it looks like this is a very nice area to walk around and see. So we're going to see what it's about. I really don't know what it's about, but it's one of the things that you can do when you come here so let's check it out okay so how much is it to get in $22 per person for adults 17 well 3 to 17 you'll pay $12 and then children under 2 are free automobile museum Hmm? I don't know. Beautiful. President Taft's car. Look at your knees, bro. <laughs> Better than most airlines. Cod windmills. In the 17th century, water mills were the preferred source of power because water could be dammed, channeled, and managed. We're entering a maze now. How will we ever get out? <laughs> So this really has some pretty views, gardens, the woods. It's beautiful. Very pretty. Baby turtle. Yeah, it's a turtle head. Cute little turtle. Okay, I'm in front of Daniel Wing's house. Don't know who Daniel Wing was, but Daniel Wing did live here in the sandwich. This house was basically built 18, sorry, not 18, 1686, guys. 1686. His family lived here up to the 1850s and would 
plants all over this varieties of four different apples here beautiful These blue flowers are everywhere. Hydrorangia, hydra, hydrorangia garden. Guess that's what they're named. Hydrangea. Hydra. Hydrangea, hydrangea. They're beautiful. They're all over Cape Cod. Okay, so we're staying here at the Holiday Inn and they have, it's really cool because they have indoor and outdoor pool. So obviously in here is like much hotter, warmer. All right, after a nice dip in the pool, we are in a jacuzzi now by ourselves. <laughs> All the lifeguard is here save us in case we drown in this three foot pool jacuzzi we're in spankies tony spanky for later spanky okay we're sitting down now and it's time to order Ooh. we have a lot of ravioli as a really good We got the lobster bisque here. Okay. Mm. Oh, All right, guys, it was phenomenal. Um, dinner came out to 105 for all lobster based products. It was great. Loved it. All right, guys, we are making our way now to Nauset. I think that's how you say it, Nasa Lighthouse and their beach. It's half an hour away and we're trying to just make it to see the sun go down. It's been a couple of minutes there. Um, but it's 30 minutes away guys and right now it's 7.32 p.m. and the sun will be down at 8.10. So 30 minutes away we'll make it at 8 but you know we really wanted to get those shots so i'll try my best here to see if i can push it a little more to get there on time i'm not recommending though there's a lot of state troopers around especially july 4th so you gotta be careful but we are going to be on our way to the orleans area of cape cod and uh, hopefully we get to see at least some coastline while we're driving there. It's beautiful here. So sun is basically down. But um, we get to see the lighthouse. The lighthouse is really nice. It is functional. And uh, the beach looks very nice as well very pretty you can hear the beach the water and the lighthouse Is absolutely special it's really nice so now we're gonna check the water area obviously we're not getting in right now 
It's around 69 degrees and the mosquitoes are absolutely killing me here. Um, so it's always cooler at the waterfront, especially here in the United States, in uh, islands of the Caribbean. You don't feel that coolness at all. It's just hotter at the beach. <laughs> so it's the opposite, but let's check it out. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is really cool. We actually have to walk down here. Looks really nice. I feel like one of those beaches that you find in Europe where you have to walk down a lot to get there. Really nice. Wow. I've been waiting on someone like you so long. Never really thought that I could fall in love. Told you, baby, listen. This ain't a commitment. Never knew that I would ever. Everything I need 